Time they answer the call. So the night of February 28th, 2020, we were looking for a subject that was wanted in a handful of violent armed robberies. Our two detectives got on the radio, advised they they found the subject's truck that they've been looking for. Going down the road. So we chased him over town. He's doubling back on the valley, guys. Get ready. Mike, just be advised, we're set up for spikes at Pettigrew and Valley. Maximum, saw his door open, he jumped out, and I start running, I send Chief after him, give him his pants to go catch this guy. Stop, you, you bit my dog! Here, 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 fuss that guy, fuss, fuss, fuss! Drop the gun, drop the gun! This Chief's closing in on him, I could see uh, a gun in his hand, swinging his hand. Drop the gun, drop the gun! And right as Chief was about to bite him, I heard that gunshot. Drop the gun! Chief had been shot right through his left eye. Give me light! Give me light! Give me light! I immediately started trying to tend to him and get pressure on his eye, trying to stop the bleeding. I need get him in a car. I need to call the vet and tell her to get to the vet right now. I started yelling for somebody to grab my vehicle because I knew we had to get him to the vet as quick as we could. Yeah, I immediately thought he's. I don't think he's gonna make it through this. Without the chief that night, I think there's a, a very high likelihood myself or one of their officers would have would have caught a bullet. They had to take out his left eye. Kind of just looks like he's winking at you all the time. And then he also sustained a, a fracture to his jaw. He doesn't have the full mobility of his jaw anymore. But all in all, he's he's pretty lucky. The recovery's been really good. On that night, Chief absolutely saved my life. So, I mean, the least I can do for him is to make the rest of his life as good as it can be. Hey. Chief is officially retired and is now happily living the life of a civilian dog at home with Officer Stewart. Got a big kennel out back, nice dog house and everything. That's where Chief hangs out. Even after what happened to him, he's just a goofy, happy-go-lucky dog. Chief, we thank you for your service. Now, last year, there were more than a quarter million robberies committed in the United States, so it's more important than ever to never let your guard down.